Foods um, parking garage and this is South Street, an infamous street in Philadelphia. Um, I came up the elevators there um, and here's a city view from the parking lot, parking garage. This is all part of Sager Run, S-E-G-E-R, like, I guess like Bob Sager, kind of. Um, so that's all over there. The Acme parking garage is over here, and the Acme is down there. Street, which runs back here um, it's a little bit like California fied or San Francisco ish it's as close as maybe Philly can get <laughs> um, to that kind of thing so you know on Friday Saturday nights in good weather people walk down with all their dogs with funky haircuts or all kinds of stuff goes on there um, it's I mean things have evolved and changed over the years so different groups will take to the streets to get their party on, if you will, their freak on or what have you, um, their groove on. So we'll go down here, an infamous artist um, does the Magic Garden tile here. So what's his name? Isaiah or French? I'm forgetting people's names today. I usually know them pretty well. Marcy Tooney is the... Ah, earlier I was trying to think of the name of the woman and her partner or wife who own a lot of restaurants in the neighborhood like Little Nona's, I think Prunella and so forth and so on. Um, Marcy Tooney, I think, or Turney or something like that. So this is, um, I bought one chocolate bar here so I'm hoping it doesn't melt a little warm up here. This is South Street, we'll go to the corner. There's I guess for breaks and stuff for employees or even for um, consumers or customers, they can come out here and um, eat their lunch, bring their kids, whatever. And this is South Street. Uh, this could be a lookout point for people who are trying to figure out like who's walking down South Street. They do do that here. It is part, you know, some people might innocently be like kind of immature in doing it. And then some people are actually part of a of stalking squads uh, and groups so they will do that but then you have residences who actually have rooftop gardens and rooftop stuff I didn't feel too good for a second so somehow I got wrangled in <laughs> um, because of what began in 2011 and I got wrangled over in a corner where I won't feel good if I bring up um, certain types of people so I'll actually start to feel ill and it's like whoa that's like certain punishment just for referencing a certain group or certain types of people so they want to keep me as far away and as protected as possible from all those who malintendedly caused me a lot of harm it was so bad I'm a completely different person where'd Sharon go? don't know should we take the stairs? <laughs> so there's a little lift there, but we'll take the stairs and that's what I'm talking about. So we'll take the stairs. We don't know what to say about Whole Foods. It does offer 
people a way to eat better. They do have affordable things, I will say that. They have a bad rap for high prices, but the high prices are on certain items. Certain things are quite affordable and comparable to your normal grocery store, like, you know, the most pure one want to eat from a salad kit, but the salad kits are good, that doesn't look so good there. <laughs> um, but the sweet kale is a definite win. So, to get your, get, you know, your roughage in and a certain amount of veggies, I guess. It's kind of veggie-ish, it's more greens. Um, but at least you get it in and it tastes good. Um, really good dressing. So, I'll head down here. And I think I can go out that exit here, right? So that's where you go into the store. And you can go out here. Wow, smells good. There's some herb here, like rosemary or thyme. Um, I can smell thyme, rosemary, or sage. It smells good. So what are we doing on this way? Sit here, but back in the day, they've Whole Foods has been here since 2001, um, so they showed up that year. So, back in the day, I even worked here for a while to earn extra income around 2005. So, back in the day, people used to hang out, and there used to be a whole scene of you know, everybody, how good, how are you? <laughs> there used to be a whole scene, and people would come sit at the tables, and it was a whole it's a little different today, um, and um. It's not the same. The vibe has changed, and of course, the pandemic changed everything, and so forth and so on. So, <laughs> we left. I was told to make a left and hurry up before this truck comes down. So, we have someone parked on the edge here, Dodge Charger. So, that's those are saved for the car shows. Um, all in the house. This is Sager Park and Sager Run, Sager Community Block or whatever. So they got basketball, tennis. In fact, they have a plaque here that says Elizabeth Taylor Greenfield, 1809 to 1876. So it's about Black Swan, known as the Black Swan because of a great vocal range. So there's that Black Swan reference. Remember there was like a Natalie Portman movie called Black Swan? So I even knew someone through work and her last name was Swan and she used to joke that, because she happened to be African American, so she used to joke that she was a black swan. So, but the movie was like a mind bender. It was like a psychological horror thriller. So I used to I'll get clients and new, you know, stuff like that here. This one's a little bit of a meat market. It's interesting, each dog park in the city has its own feeling and vibe. It's just like a, com 